All right, all right, all right. Hello, hello, hello. Don't know who's here, if anybody. There we go. Twitch says I'm live, but it said that my session was zero minutes. All right, we're good now. All right. Almost ready. Uh, I'm afraid that the uh, music and whatnot is kind of blocked through the uh, PS4's native streaming service, so we're uh, kind of going to be sitting in silence for a second. Okay, uh, give me just one second, friends. Okay, I do not know how many of my compadres will be able to come and hang out in the chat. Some of them may have to work tomorrow. But as usual, I'm going to send out the invites. Now, this was not my plan for today. Alright, my original plan for the day was to, uh, honestly, I don't know what game I planned, but I was looking forward to an all-day stream. And then I wound up oversleeping, and then Mom had plans. And then I decided I was going to try and set this up. And that took a little bit longer than I planned. So now I'm just late. Don't know why that's showing money in the bank. For over 25 years, this has been the epicenter of sports entertainment. We welcome you tonight to the longest running episodic television show in history. This is Monday Night Raw. It's I got not. A feeling we're going to see some serious history made here tonight. And it's what season's beatings is what it is. Coming up, we'll see which of these 10 superstars is going to be the last man standing. It's the Royal Rumble, and it's next. In a match that will be etched in the record books. Which one of these 10 superstars will be left standing at the end of this thing? Let's find out. So we're opening the show <laughs> with what I'm calling the Reindeer Rumble. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because of just how ridiculous this is. I spent time on this, and I'm spending more time on this. It's silly. I might be the only person who enjoys it. Who knows? But hey, at least I'll enjoy it. And then I'm deleting all of it. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in in the order that they drew. This will continue until all ten superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur 
when you are thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and will advance to the main event of WrestleMania. And from the North Pole, weighing in at 320 pounds, the legend, Connor. So I had to kind of uh, fuck around with the names because most of them, obviously, these there are no reindeer, reindeer names in the wrestling game. We got 10 of WWE's top superstars ready to battle here in the Royal Rumble match. Oh, man, I can only imagine and, what uh, it must feel like to walk to the ring as one of the I first I downloaded the reindeer outfit. So I did not, not make it. Want heading into a match like this. That is a dog head. And that is a rabbit tail. Hello, King Alpha 2. Thank you for following. Merry Christmas. Welcome to the show. I didn't make anything that you're going to be seeing tonight, by the way. I just... I just did a little editing and uh, set up the show. Like I said, I, I did what I could with the names. <laughs> there was no Cupid. Now, we're going to have eight reindeer, what a great match reindeer that look exactly night, the same, guys. and then one the that's got a red nose. And then we're going to have Rudolph Ziggler. And ladies and gentlemen, we're underway here Ugh. with the Royal Rumble match. The good news for the two oh, superstars who drew numbers one and two here tonight is that unlike traditional Royal Rumble matches, this one only features ten competitors. It has to help their cause a bit. Backbreaker flawlessly executed. Oh, nasty impact. What a stomp. Good grip. We'll have our third competitor. Yeah, I chose to play as Rudolph Ziggler because he's the only one who looks different from the rest of them. <laughs> Had to have ten. He can definitely make a difference here, guys. Without a doubt. Flapjack! Oh, look at this! Oh, no. Santa has his Boy, own match later. Flies, doesn't it? So there goes Comet. This guy has what it takes to make Oh shit, that's me. Yeah, you have to expect to make some noise here tonight. Here comes Rudolph Ziggler. hits the mark. Looks like we might get an elimination, guys. Whoa shit. A little help there, Cupid, or not. Or Rudolph, rather. Oh, jeez. Hi, Kira. No, get your face out of my custard. Absolutely nobody. This might be... Here we go. Number five. Ouch. Hi, sweetie. Cross the shoulders. You gotta believe this one's over. Nice. Shut it down. Look who we have here, guys. And he looks super motivated. But I'll just go pick on Dasher since he's what the new guy. Ooh, what impact. Oh shit. Oh, what incredible power. <laughs> wow, what a vertical. Guys, it's almost time for our next competitor. He's so agile. Corey. Oh fuck, what am I doing? I definitely have him on my short list of favorites. Uh, that was Rudolph chasing me, not Dasher. God damn, this is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> this could spell trouble, Corey, without a doubt. In fact, I'll be surprised if this doesn't. Oh, why did I do that? That's bad. What a stop! Good grief. Next entrance getting ready to come out. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Talk about a great escape. 
Here he comes, and he's got as good a chance as any to win this thing. Maybe a better chance if you ask Hi, me. Hi, little Kira. My kitty came to say hello. Whoa! No! Shit! The elimination what took him so long? Well, that's me out of the game. I thought I had said it so that I would enter last. So that everybody else would be more or less dealt with. Uh, you should follow me on Twitter at Erie Emily and send me pictures of your pets. Hey, Rosa. Welcome to the show. Merry Christmas. Hey, yeah, it has been a while. That's uh, that's what happens when uh, university rules your life. Looks a bit off his game here. He's gonna have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. Hey, final seconds here before number nine enters. Oh boy, he is rolling. Man. Takes him down in a major way, too. Oh, my, oh that might have just yeah. broken something. This adds a whole new dimension to this match, guys. You're absolutely right. Now, I could take over one of the other characters. But considering they all look the same, I feel like that would be a huge mistake. At this point, it's just kind of a crapshoot. To see which poorly made uh, reindeer suit survives. much more punishment if he wants to win here. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised to see him get picked off here soon. He's just not looking very good right now. He has to be disappointed in this performance. He really is so much better than what he's shown so far tonight. Look at him. Here he comes, guys. And you know he can be a major difference maker here. Oh, you're drooling. Not so fast. Neck breaker. And there's his speed paying off. Wow, suddenly there's six of you. Hi, welcome. Oh, it looks like a power center. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was amazing. Welcome to the Reindeer Rumble. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, he's able to reverse it. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. <laughs> he's in big trouble. A competitor has oh. been eliminated. And that's elimination right there, guys. Okay. Exclamation point, no less. Oh, boy, he is oh. We are almost at the halfway point. Sorry, Cheaty. There we go. That's uh, half the competitors done. Alright, since Vixen entered 10th, they're obviously the uh, the smart choice for, for who, who wins. But I, I think that Rudolph has actually been doing shockingly well. There's a good chance he could make it out of this as number one. Cross the shoulders. Slam! This could be it. What a slam, Michael. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. <laughs> there may be no coming back. Well, on the bright side. Like everybody else. Can you believe it? I can, uh, I can pet the kitty. And she'll be a little less, uh, a little less desperate for my attention. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing left at this point. I think he's in shock right now. And by the sound of this crowd, I don't think he's the only one feeling that way. It looks like Rudolph's out. When this guy's on, look at him. Ooh, what impact. Big elimination right there. So like I said, smart choice is probably going to be Vixen. And I forgot to turn the glow off on the noses. I just noticed. That'll do it every time. Sweet Clubbing blow to the so how was everybody else's Christmas? He's starting to stagger a bit. He looks to be a little surprised right now. Yeah, but of the guys in the ring right now. DDT! That has got to be it. I think mine went pretty well. We kind of did all of our... Uh, all of our family stuff was... Uh, almost a week ago now. Oh, it looks like a power set. Oh, there. Well, there goes Cupid. There's the elimination, Corey. What took him so long? Oh, boy, he is rolling. 
Love so much. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Well, like this I said, um, my family basically did all our Christmas stuff on the 19th. Like the whole family get together and pre gift exchange. The big time slam. Vicious. I got a. I got a tool set that I'm probably not gonna get much use out of. I got a copy of. Uh, He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to. Find the Hellblazer story, to Son of Man. Like an old printing of Son of Man, which uh, I'm kind of excited escape. for. Well, um, I haven't started it, reading it yet. I got some super sweet noise-canceling headphones. And then yesterday, for Christmas Eve, uh, Mom surprises me with a brand new Keurig coffee maker. And like, I always tell people, don't get me anything. Like, if you're gonna give me something, give me, like, ten dollars so I can buy dinner. <laughs> the road to WrestleMania begins here. Which one of these superstars will go on to main event the biggest show? Vixen entered last. They were, they were the smart choice to win. Alright, now that madness is out of the way. Let's move on to some new madness. And that's a win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing. Yeah, again, I had to. Believe it or not, that's I had just the kind of folks. Stay tuned pick the the closest sounding name action. I could. So Vixen is Vince in. <laughs> oh my God, Vincent is Vince Neal. Oh, you know what you should do with that two hundred dollars? You should go to my Patreon. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Don't don't give me two hundred dollars. Jesus. We have a great matchup coming up next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against an imposing adversary. I mean, don't get me wrong. Do do check out my Patreon if you want. But like, two hundred dollars is a fucking lot. <laughs> I will say, though, if you give me just a dollar, as little as a dollar, you'll get your name right off in the, at the end of every live stream. Something to think about. Alright, so apparently I'm playing as the Grinch this time. I flipped a coin. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm playing as Brawn. I love Brawn. Brawn's cool. This is so weird. Just this whole thing. I want to do something like this for, Octo for, for Halloween, but... Two years in a row and I haven't been able to make that work out. Making his way to the ring from the edge of reality. Weighing in at 188 pounds. Magical Green Man. <laughs> Magical Green Man. Sounds to me, guys, like this crowd is ready to get this night started. Yeah, I had no idea how, how the Grinch was going to be announced. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one. And his opponent, weighing in at 385 pounds. The superstar. I mean, they could have just left it as Braun Strowman. That's that's who he is. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to see kick it? the night off, Michael. A little. Fact, we haven't even got show the back. started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Show the back. 
Show the back of the jacket. Show the back of the coat. There you go. Because <laughs> Braun Strowman's gig is get these hands. So for Santa Strowman, it's get these presents. Oh, jeez. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some oh, battle. One-on-one. -on -one, mano a mano. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a oh. show here tonight. Well, I do have a, have a Santa character on the, on the roster tonight. Who is basically Santa from Rise of the Guardians. Ooh. What a stop. Good grief. Him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I didn't mess around with the uh, with the stats of any of these characters. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little so, uh, on the road for him here. The Grinch about. has a rating of a hundred. Which uh, officially makes him stronger than anybody in the base game. This might be it! Oh my! Big knee! Oh, nasty impact! Showing some quickness there. What a strike right on the mark. <laughs> Bonk. Close line. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Dodges that one. Neck breaker. That could be it. Strowman is there. We go. No prisoners right here. Here he goes. Whoa! He's got him covered. That was nowhere near a three count. That's just not fair. Cross the shoulders. Down, Samoan driver. Got the shoulders down. He gets the shoulder. Okay. Time. He showed up here tonight. I was about to say, I'm not going to lose the fucking Grinch. Come on. I can't remember if I got this to work before. Beautiful there it goes. Technique. Suplex toss. Thank you for kicking off your weekend with us. We've got a great Friday night plan for you tonight. So, okay. The one thing I've always been really bad at, as far as the uh, WWE games, is commentary. Jarring impact. I don't know what to say while I play. Which I feel like probably makes for a, a, a sort of disappointing experience for anybody watching. Thank you for tuning in to Raw, the flagship program of WWE. He's making a statement here with this attack. Face plant. This one's over, guys. And that's twice now. Looking for the finish. He's not going to go quietly. Oh, Super dang it. Worth his soul ever does. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. 
When this guy's on, look out. Wow, I thought he was a goner. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. We have seen him You're before. a dead one, Mr. Crunch. Face Buster. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Absolutely punishing. He's in trouble. Get up, you green loser. All here. Oof. But he's running on a few. His shoulders are down. There you go. Yes, takes it. Here is your winner, the superstar. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. Taking on some tough competition. Who will reign supreme? <laughs> I just can't help. I've, I've been laughing at this all night. I cannot stop laughing at Candy Cane. <laughs> it's just Kane's 1998 outfit but with the black parts colored white. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Pardon me. Yeah, and it's going to come up again later, but I want to want to go ahead and shout it out now. Thanks King Alpha 2 in chat for uh for following on Patreon or for pledging to my Patreon. I can use words, I swear. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, the maniac, Michael Myers. Okay. That's clearly not Michael Myers, but... What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could... Oh, no, I don't get credit for, for the, the candy cane pun. I didn't make the pun. Like I said, I just downloaded these. Like, uh, I didn't mess with the Merry Marauder here at all, or I would have taken off the, the Fortnite shit on the back. But whatever, it's too late now. You guys can't hear it, but it kept the spooky music. <laughs> oh, boy. And his opponent, from parts unknown, weighing in at 326 pounds, the superstar. I don't know why that's so funny. Just fucking candy cane. Guys, we're getting the night started with, the with an Santa amazing hat. matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. Jesus Christ. Singles action is underway, and this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. 
I just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Elbow drop, big time. <laughs> Rosa, thank you. He's not Candy Cane. He's Canada Cane. Oh, big <laughs> oh boy. Hey, just ignore the uh, the Finn Balor boots. Whoops. Why not a gingerbread man? They're Christmassy. Nightmare takeover. Followed by. I didn't plan Lee it Bird. this way, but it just occurred to me this is a battle of the sweets. This is a candy cane versus gingerbread cookie. That's how you wear down your opponent. <laughs> and the slam! Looks like he's starting to falter. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him. Showing some quickness there. And it's reversed. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. He wants to do this in the ring. Oh, boy, he is rolling. I don't know. I don't know about uh, gingerbread cookie with a candy cane on top, but like, I definitely see adding in some uh, some peppermint to your gingerbread. Could He's be nice. Looking at it. Oh! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Uh oh, he's in trouble here. Here it comes. Here it comes. Choke slam from hell. Choke slam. Here's his monkey's going to the pen. Or maybe to hell. Real close. Too close for comfort. Wow, I am impressed. Peppermint frosting would also be good, yeah. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Watch out, ref. Big boot. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, what a forearm. That was dirty. <laughs> okay, I didn't know if that's what I what I was trying to do or not. Turns out it was. Oh, close line. Okay. I've been wondering lately. What is the difference between a clothesline and a lariat? Ooh, earth shattering spine buster. Like the the only difference I can see is that like a oh, clothesline is when somebody's right running to towards spine. you and you hit them. And a lariat is when you're running towards them to hit them. Like that's the only real difference I can I don't guess it matters, just like if you're gonna Down. Find that little weakness that could help you end up with a victory. Body press. He's a spinning ball of energy. This one is over. He's caught. It's over, guys. A trip to the loop there you go. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. The victory goes to Candy Cane. A hard 
jackpot victory. Yeah, big win for that young man. And... <laughs> Wait a minute. That young man now. who's like in his He's 50s. Finished. He wants to stop a hole in him. Boy, this match is over. And is also the, uh, what is it, the mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. Which I still can't fucking believe. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, what's next? I think it's a tag match next. No, next is going to be the, uh, the ladder match. Up next, we have a battle that will require the combatants to work well with, well, tables. Stay tuned. We have a real fan favorite taking on some tough competition. Oh, a table match. Okay, never mind. Table match between Santa and the Krampus. <clears throat> Pardon me. Pardon me again, good lord. I might as well just play as Santa the whole night. Play as the, uh... quote-unquote good characters. Now that said, I do have a, a tag match on here. Where, uh... The heels are dressed as elves. Making his way to the ring from every man's nightmare, weighing in at 528 pounds. Demon. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the tables match we've all been waiting for. And I can assure you this match will not disappoint. Not when you have these two squaring off against each other. Now, under the, the community creations tab, there were like four different Krampuses. This one, I thought, was the best looking. What you doing, sweet girl? Little Kira's uh, up on the shelf next to my model kits. It's making me a little bit nervous. There she goes. And his opponent, from the North Pole, Weighing in at 536 pounds, the international classic champion. What's going on here? Nicholas here we go. North champion. Oh man, still not officially underway. Well, official or unofficial, we're rolling here. Give me the belt. Give me the belt. I'm gonna beat him with the belt. That's like my favorite thing, is when you have somebody run in like this during your champion's entrance, Close just beat line. him with the belt. Connects with the title, and let me tell you, that thing is heavy. My stamina is almost totally gone. Connects with the title, and let me tell you, that thing is heavy. Styling and profiling. Pardon me. You want to talk about WWE Hall of Famers taking things to the extreme? The first time many fans saw somebody put through a table was in 1984. Randy Macho Man Savage drove Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express through a table with a pile driver at the Mid-South Coliseum. All right, let's head into the ring. Now back to the ring. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Wait. Please tell me. 
Yes! Since Santa and Krampus here are Forever both super heavyweights. Scene in wrestling magazines, the piled was utilized when Terry Funk Instead of putting Lord Krampus Flair through a table, table like I'm supposed to, I'm just going to destroy the ring. happened in sports entertainment in the early 90s <laughs> called Extreme Championship Wrestling. ECW superstars crashed through tables all the time. Ooh. And what was going on in Philadelphia caused a craze of wood being turned into wood chips thanks to tables match. There we go. In order to win a tables match, a competitor must be the first person to put their opponent through a table. We've also witnessed the doing that, Akira. And superstars crash through flaming tables. Through Kofi Kingston's career, the exciting superstar has competed in several types of WWE matchups. It didn't take long for Kofi to get comfortable in the tables match environment. At 2011's TLC event, Kingston took on the Celtic warrior Sheamus in a tables match for the United States Championship. Kofi was impressive in the match oh. as he combined defense with his unbelievable high-flying assaults. Byron, you spoke about Kofi Kingston's tables match against Sheamus in 2011's TLC event. Some people feel that match was one of the turning points for Kingston. That night, Kofi's usual fun-loving nature took a back seat to a more focused and offensively aggressive competitor. Kofi Kingston's focus was leaving TLC the new United States. We've seen this before. Face Buster! Man, that was vicious. It, is that it? Is it over? Let me tell you, the human it's body almost is over. meant to be slammed like that. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Not what I was hoping for. What are they going to do from up here? Oh, my God. This is going to side slam. Well, let's try getting in the other corner. How about the other corner? Oh boy, he is rolling. He might have it. Bam, what a slam. Talk about taking care of business. That should do it, Cole. There's no coming back from a slam of that. I am determined to break the ring. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Ooh. He's not looking good here. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. Oh, man, his Ouch. chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this, and what I've learned so far here tonight is that there is absolutely no quit in him. And there's his speed paying off. Get in the corner, Krampus. God donut. Ouch. There he goes. Knocked right off his feet. I don't know how much more these superstars can take, guys. You'd have to think something's got to get here soon. Come on. And he's heading back in. Get in the dang corner. He's in a very bad way here, guys. Tonight may not be his night, guys. He's in tough shape, guys, and there's absolutely no room oh, for error now. Come on. Incoming. Now you stay out there. Think about what you've done. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. I was trying to throw the table out of the ring. It's not working. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. Nobody controls Nothing's the working. Match. This well, match is not this going guy. well. Ouch. Look at that a second time. Buster. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Oh, he's going down one way or another. Irish whip. Too quick for him there. Oh, 
if I have to play by the rules and break a table, fine. But that's not going to stop me from trying to put him through the ring. Just He's the whole ass quietly. ring. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Not ass ring. That would be weird. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've had him in the red for a while. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Monty dodges Get in the way. corner. Oh boy, he is rolling. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Oh my goodness, crushing it! It's not a glass jaw. Great a nearly 600-pound monster just hit me around. in the face. Oh boy, he is rolling. When this guy's on, look out. Ooh, nice Russian leg sweep. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, come on! Pick up your teeth in the third row. Oh, what impact! Looking for the finish. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh no, we know what this is. Thunderous slam. Here's his moment, Michael. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. Corner. Now. Oh boy, I will cold. eat you. And I'm fat, so you know it's true. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? Okay, I must be fucking missing something here. How do I break the ring? Stunned in the corners. I've been trying to put him up on top of the fucking ring post this whole time. I didn't even have to. Uh, he's got him in trouble up on the top rope. Oh! arm drag. Things are not looking very good right now. Going to have to find a way to regroup. Why can't I do the thing? Oh, for fuck's sake. Beautiful technique. Am I just not allowed to break the ring because this is a table match? This might be it. Oh, my. If that's the case, I'm disappointed. And one more time. Gotta be it. All right, now that I don't have a sinister taking up my slot, I want to try again. Uh oh, watch out! Nope. All right, that was a long way down. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. <laughs> Cactus Jack. Oh! Nasty impact. Hell of a hip drop. No reverses it. So here's a fun fact for you. One of John Cena's moves is referred to as the STF. We've seen out so recently found out tonight. that it was originally called the STFU. Not a power bomb. 
this table match and it's carnage is over. Okay. So now that's finally done. I'm a little upset I didn't get a chance to just destroy the ring. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Okay, if I remember correctly, next should be the women's match, and then the tag match, and then the big rumble. Where we get to see all these characters again. Now, while it's loading... I'm actually going to run a short ad, one -on -one which you won't see. You won't see. Can you guys shut up a second, Jesus? Opponent. You don't want to miss it. If you're subscribed to the channel, you won't have to see the ad. If you're not subscribed, you're about to get an ad. If you're watching this on YouTube later, you don't have an ad. But I'm going to go get a drink. I'll be right back. All right, all right, should be back, think I'm back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> also, I am going to really quickly retweet the stream announcement. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some more people in here. Don't get me wrong, I'm definitely not complaining about the, uh, the numbers I've got right now. Six people is, is double what I normally get. Alright, you know what, this is an easy choice. I don't like Alexa Bliss. <laughs> so I'm gonna play as Paige. I wonder who made this entrance. <laughs> yeah, no, if you it's want, uh, if you see me on Twitter, tonight, go ahead and retweet the link. Like, we have quite the contest coming up. like I always say, like, those who have to follow this one. if you like what You're you see, if you, if you enjoy the streams, tell people. Like, spread the word. Word of mouth is probably the best thing you can do. I'm going to grow a whole lot more from word of mouth than from, like, just retweeting my own link. I didn't even know that her outfit was going to say Merry Blissmas. <laughs> Corey, I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. So, like, I don't like Alexa Bliss, but... I really like her boots. Like, I think she's generally had some really good ring gear in her time, right? The time for talk is over. We'll find out who the best is in the ring right now. I am so excited this moment is finally here. And given the athleticism of these women, this one promises to be Ouch. can't miss. Fun fact, while Alexa Bliss is currently 
the uh, biggest heel of the women's division. She used to be a face. She used to have kind of a fairy princess vibe going. Her nickname was the Sovereign of Sparkle. <laughs> Come on, Alexa, get in the ring. Oh, clothesline! Things starting to go the other way for her. But you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. She's looked off her game almost all night here, guys. And to be honest, I'm a little surprised. Uh -oh. Oh, ooh, what impact. Oof. That was nowhere near a three count. Not yet. Like, back when I still got the uh, WWE Network, I started watching NXT from back in, like, 2014. I wanted to like basically follow Balor's entire career. For anyone who doesn't know, Finn Balor, that's my guy. If it weren't for Rey Mysterio, Balor would be my number one. What are we gonna see here? <laughs> Hung up on Ooh, neck breaker. That's right, folks. I like the little guys who do the flippy shit. That's my gig. Do not know why I decided to pick her up there, but sure, I'll take it. Not so fast. She may be in a bad way here. This is not at all where she Ooh. hoped to be at this point in the match. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight, and now she's playing wow. If she's not careful, this could very easily spiral out of control for her in a hurry. I don't think I'm going to get this one. Also, I think the ref is broken. For some reason, she lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned here? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Rampage! Man. I thought, that, I, thought I was in trouble for a second there. For the cover. And there we go. That was quick. Here is your winner, Paige. Big win here to start the show. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. I don't know why they're talking about kicking off the show when this is like match five. <laughs> all right. We got two matches left. We got the tag match between a uh, couple of Santas. Because we have a contest that's Santas. going to blow the roof off this place. We have a team led by one of the best talents on the roster today against the Authors of Pain. Santa Finn and Santa Styles against the Elves of Pain. <laughs> and then we have the... Uh, We've got the uh, the big rumble at the end. <laughs> this has been so silly. I'm glad that at least somebody has has enjoyed it.
Okay, look, Elves of Pain is the only thing I can take credit for tonight. Because like I said, the rest of this I, I pretty much just downloaded. Like, AJ's get up here, AJ's Santa outfit, was just an alternate version of Braun's Santa outfit. And the uh, Altars of Pain there, their elf outfits came from a character I downloaded who was just called Codename Elf. All right, let's get this show on the road. Yeah, right, you go on. Uh, thanks for coming, popping in, hanging out for a little bit. Glad, you, glad that you, uh, you've been enjoying yourself. And uh, if I don't see you again soon, then I uh, hope you have a good night. I just now noticed how glittery the knee pads are. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. I mean, the previews in the download screen don't really show you all that much. Like, I didn't know that his boots were going to glow in the dark. And here comes his partner, the Santa Phenomenal. Styles. AJ Styles. When you talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles a true global superstar before arriving in WWE, but since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker. And his phenomenal. partner from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Phenomenal, AJ Styles. So, fun fact. I don't like AJ Styles. AJ Styles has constantly proven that he is a mastermind of offensive innovation, and it has taken him to the championship promised land on multiple occasions. I think he's a fantastic in-ring worker. I am so glad to finally have the honor to call one of AJ Styles' matches. No one ever thought he'd ever make it here to WWE. But now, here the phenomenal one is. I think he's a fantastic in-ring worker, but he's also a born-again Christian who uh, hates LGBT people. You know, what with me being an LGBT time. person, not really a fan. 
But I did feel like I should pair him and Fen up since they were in, uh, they're in, in, uh, yeah, they're in New Japan together. Unnerving. A couple of bad, bad dudes. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 620 pounds, Akum and Razor, the authors of pain. Not just because they were in uh, New Japan together, because they were in the Bullet Club together. At the time, though, Finn was under the name Prince Devitt. So fun fact, the authors of Payne's names were uh, based were were inspired by the term Occam's razor. But for some reason you don't say them as Occam and Razor. They're Akam and Razor. Which is just weird. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think oh, of man. these two teams. Akam often dresses like he's going to war, and tonight's match might not be a war. Yeah, if I were his opponent, I'd find a white flag pronto. Oh, uh, schoolboy! Uh -huh. Shoulders down uh -huh. here! Didn't mean to go for that early. Look out, ref. Drop kick! Beautiful technique. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this. Yeah, this on one I feel like might really isn't necessary drag on a bit. He has a very capable partner he can tag in here. Hey. Jumping lippy. AJ's attack. turn. hard in the beginning of a match against a bigger guy to knock him down. Oh, nasty impact. Trap the arm. Drop to the knee. Oh, look at this. Really softening up the leg. Hi, Squid Balls. Welcome to the show. Merry Christmas. Also, why would you do that to yourself? Good God. But now, can AJ Styles capitalize? Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Because I wasn't going to get it. Duh. I think AJ Styles is done playing. Styles looking to end this thing. Styles Clash coming up. Styles Clash. This one. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. the reversal Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height oh what a close line forcefully delivered tagged in Impact. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. That's a Pele kick. Well, AJ Styles is trying to get in his opponent's head right here. 
Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be oh, Buster. Jeez, that was nasty. So much damage inflicted. I really should have said this so that AJ would also still be wearing his Santa hat. gonna hurt. Alright, Finn, again. your turn. Nice down kick. Great elevation. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Heart Foundation. The rocker dropper from the Rockers. The doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Welcome back, King Alpha 2. <laughs> Tope con hilo. Oh, that was awesome. Oh boy, he is rolling. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. Hooked up. Spiked. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this right. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off no. against each other right now. This is amazing. There you I don't go. Like the look in his eye here, folks. The end may be near. Oh boy! Oh, you good. son of a taint! He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Himself here headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? Sometimes, when you're dominating your opponent as much as he's been doing in this match, uh, shit. you lose focus. That's likely what happened here. Uh, I'm not playing 2K20 because 2K20 is the glitchiest thing I have ever experienced, and I regret spending money on it. Also because I got my money back and bought Code Vein instead. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Face first. Oh boy, he is rolling. Code Vein, which I have not been streaming, but which is definitely on my list. In position. Look out. Here it comes. Shotgun okay. drop kick. That should do it. Can Razor stay in this after that? And once again, to the top rope. He looks for it once again. Going for it. The He's coup de gras, you son of a taint. Attack. Here's Razor. Oh, he goes down hard. Yeah. He's I will eat you and I will eat your cats. Yeah, look at the Ow. That ain't fair. Oh, right to my gut. Oh, my goodness. What an impactful STO. He's in trouble. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Nobody controls the pace of the match. Quite like this guy. Accidentally was targeting the wrong guy. Okay, let's go for the son of a bitch. Oh, nasty impact. 
Nice calf kick. Great elevation. He's talking his out of the way, ref. From the top turnbuckle. One Going for it again. Coup de grace. There we go. Finally got it. He's got the shoulders down. Now go to sleep, you bastard. Hooray! What an incredible tag team contest. Here are your winners. The superstar and the phenomenal AJ Styles. That's a win worth celebrating. His name what is we Finn Balor. was a doctorate class in tag team competition. They just took the game to a whole other level. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. All right, we've only got one match left. It's the big one. If there was a reference to Silent Night, Deadly Night in there, I was not aware of it. All right, friends, this is the big one. A 20-man Royal Rumble featuring nine reindeer, a gingerbread man, nine reindeer, a gingerbread man, uh, Santa, three wrestlers dressed as Santa, two, two wrestlers dressed as elves, the Grinch, the Krampus, and Rudolph Ziggler, and Candy Cane. I keep forgetting Candy Cane, even though I can't stop laughing at fucking Candy Cane. Yeah, it may be a reference to Silent Night, Deadly Night. I hadn't thought about it. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 20 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when you are thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and will advance to the main event of WrestleMania. And from the North Pole, weighing in at 320 pounds, the legend, Blaze. Hey, I've seen Silent Night Deadly Night too. Seen it's time for our first match first... tonight, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest. I'm going to say up. the first and three. Good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. Yeah, I've definitely seen the first three. You know, my personal favorite murderous Santa movie is Santa's Sleigh. Starring pro wrestler Bill Goldberg. Yeah. Santa's sleigh is such garbage, but it's fucking hilarious. Santa is a demon, right? Who has spent the past Sounds thousand years like giving kids to toys started. on Christmas. They're not the only ones, Cole. 
It's because he lost a curling game against an angel. And now, the thousand years are over. He doesn't have to do it anymore. So he just comes right back and starts murdering people. Point, no less. Like, there's a scene where he stabs a guy with a menorah. Or, like, there's a scene in a strip club. I have to pause for a second to tell you this. There's a scene in a strip club. One of the strippers is on a swing. And there's a scene where she swings, like, vag first into Santa Goldberg's face. The actress who played that stripper went on to become Goldberg's wife. That was the first time they met. Her vag in his face. For a movie. And then they got married. That movie's fucking insane and I love it. Set it up! Nice neck breaker! Up and knee drop! Sheets! What a stomp! Good grief! Boy, the time just flies, doesn't it? Also notice that I just lost a viewer after talking about... Ooh, <laughs> talking about the strip club scene in Santa Slay. Things are about to heat up here, guys. I wouldn't want to be in the ring now, that's oh, for sure. Oh, boy. Clubbing blow to the back. He's starting to feel it here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. The Royal Rumble match will absolutely test your resolve, guys. And that's exactly what we're seeing here with him. Number four coming! Look out. Here he comes, guys. Here and comes another reindeer. Your difference maker here. Lariat! You gotta believe this one's over. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. I've heard that Rare Exports is really good, but I still haven't gotten around to watching it yet. And the elimination attempt fails. To the I really should. Absolutely nobody. Guys, it's almost time for our next competitor. I think it's Norwegian. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Set it up. We have a stiff neck for a while. Oh, we have a new Here comes Candy Kane. This should be interesting. Watch the vertical suplex. Nice. Bang! Nailed it. He's on the defensive here. You know, I've he always wondered. Some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. Yeah, but, but the guys was that right Kane's there. real hair or was that a wig the whole time? This is what makes him one of the best in the business. I, I'm gonna assume wig because I don't think Glenn Jacobs has ever let his hair grow that long. Impact, incredible! Talk about getting knocked into the middle of next week when this guy's on. And here comes yet another reindeer. Just as quicker it looks like. Clubbing blow to the back. Could very well get dumped out here. A compromising position to be in during a match like this for sure. Oh boy, he is rolling. We are up to seven already? He's lining him up and gets out of harm's way. Oh boy, that could have been bad, Michael. Oh, and he can definitely make a difference here, guys. Without a doubt. And yet another reindeer. Samoan driver. Victory is on the horizon. That'll readjust your spine. I'm honestly dreading the part where I get to play. Because this is just fucking madness. What strike! He's starting to show signs of fatigue. Yeah. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me we're about to get out of here. Of Jim Omen. What a slam! Impactful. It'll jar your spine. But is it enough to end it? Heading to the ring with a and yet another reindeer. Oh, that's the truth. Oh boy, he is rolling. <laughs> Damn. 
Finally start getting the reindeer out of the way early. Boom! Right between the eyes. Ooh, what impact. <laughs> Boom, what impact. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. This was such a stupid idea. Why did I do this? What a stop. Good grief. Why did I decide to make eight more reindeer and then make two rumbles? Elimination coming up. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Nice, nice job getting out of the way of that one. What a strike. Right on the mark. Come on, Candy Cane, fight yeah, back. Right where he wants him. You can do it. You can stay he in this match. Quietly. No superstar rules or salt ever comes. There you go. Oh, he is rolling. Off the shoulders. Up and... Lightning fast reflexes. He's making a statement here with this attack. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. This adds a whole new dimension to this match, guys. You're absolutely right, Cole. Oh, Cole, he unloaded there. He's on the defensive. And here. here's no <laughs> Rudolph Ziggler. More motivated than ever. Hey. Absolutely spiked. DDT. This is so dumb. Match this war. What a close line. <laughs> There's the elimination. A competitor has been eliminated. That could have been disastrous, Byron. No doubt. In fact, I'm a little surprised we didn't see an elimination there. He's looking very overwhelmed out there. This could be the You know, one of my match ideas was to just have That's Rudolph versus Rudolph Ziggler. But then I decided to make the other eight reindeer. Yes, and I used Rudolph Ziggler as part of the reindeer rumble. Wow, I cannot believe it, Michael. Trying for the elimination here. This has been such a weird night. That might have done it, Cole. There's the elimination. Executed. He gets it By the way, I'm not really a holiday person. I just thought that if I was going to do anything holiday themed, that this would be the way to do it. Because I know that other people do enjoy Christmas. I think Krampus just keeps guys. punching Dolph in the antlers. A competitor has been eliminated. Listen to this crowd count the next one in. How has Rudolph stayed in the match this long? Honestly. God, trouble there. You got that right, Michael. That had elimination written all over it. Look, and here comes down. another reindeer. This could be a game changer, Michael. Rudolph versus Rudolph Ziggler. When this guy's on, look out. Set it up. Oh, that's the impact. What a stomp. Good grief. I feel I should reiterate. I didn't make any of these. I just downloaded them. Get ready. If I did make them, then Rudolph Ziggler would not have pause. Reindeer do not have pause. Okay, we're past the halfway point. That was amazing. Looks like we might get an elimination, guys. Looks to make an elimination here. Avoids trouble there. I'm kind of hoping this will come down to me versus. Candy cane, but I'm I'm kind of doubting it'll turn out that well. You gotta believe this one's over. Uh oh, he's in trouble here. Wow, this shakes things up a bit. I think this should be the last reindeer. It's a bit incredible impact, but can he follow up here? AJ Styles is in trouble. You can say that again, Saxton, but I don't want to hear you talk. Showing off some of his speed there. Oh, close line. 
Here he goes. Oh, a lot of clothesline. AJ Styles has been eliminated. Ooh, what impact. Could be trouble here, guys. Oh, who's coming out next? Who is it? Larry Cat crushes in. Sit still, nowhere to go. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't oh, shit, that's me. The work on impactful slam. Can he finish him off here? He's making a statement here with this attack. Look out, this changes things big time. A fresh superstar usually does, Cole. He's well, at least I know which one I am. Is close to letting this one get out of control. It's make or break time here, and he absolutely has to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to win this match. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this. I'm going to do this the way that I did the Royal Rumble in the. Uh, in the uh, story mode, yeah. Nearly steamrolling over all comers. And I assure you, things won't be so easy. My plan is to throw them over the rope and then just punch them until they fall off. It's cheap, it's not that exciting to watch, but it works. Every square inch of that thing scouted to perfection. Ouch. Wow. What a comeback. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. Things are about to heat up here, guys. I wouldn't want to be in the well, There goes Candy Cane. What took him so long? Dodges trouble there. You got that right, Michael. That had elimination written all over it. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it. Ah, come on. Yeah, I'm not going to make this one. Oh, shit. I'm hitting the wrong button. Coming up and gets out of harm's way. Oh, boy. That could have been bad, Michael. Close line. Listen to this crowd count the next one in. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Oh, There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. Corey, what do you think of his chances here tonight? I definitely have him on my short list of favorites. He's not looking like himself here. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. Beautiful technique. Boom. Get out of here, Krampus. Nobody wants you here. In point, no less. What a great escape. Wow, I cannot believe it, Michael. Oh, shit. Get me out of this corner, please. I can't wait to see who number 17 is going to be. There we go. He's too quick for him there. Uh-oh, this will shake things up. And here comes the other elf. That could have been disastrous, Byron. No doubt. In fact, I'm a little surprised we didn't see an elimination there. Back between the ropes. Larian. He's starting to feel it here, but not for a second do I expect him to back down now. This match is so evenly contested. You will not defeat me. Impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Nailed it. Ooh. Side rushing leg sweep. <laughs> Perfect for number 18. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. What a strike. Here he comes, fellas. And he looks determined as ever. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Talk about I will not escape. lose to it, oh, reindeer. A escape. Wow, I cannot believe it, Michael. Oh, and shit! Is that one. Huge elimination right there. It's just not fair. Down, Samoan driver. To think I almost wrote him off earlier. I can't believe that fucking happened. And gets out of harm's way. Well, All right, so who am I now? A competitor has been eliminated. Oh, we have a new superstar. I am the Grinch. Here. This should be interesting. <laughs> 
Oh, distance there. What a clothesline! I'm supposed to be the Grinch. Where the fuck? There I am. He's starting to stumble here. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. Yeah, but of the guys in the ring right now... Dude, I just got here! Dude! Winning this thing. Not cool! Going on to WrestleMania. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. Ty just trouble there. You got that right, Michael. That had elimination written all over it. Here he comes, and he's got as good a chance as any to win this thing. Maybe a better chance, if you ask me. Oh, boy, he is rolling. That could have been disastrous, Byron. No doubt. In fact, I'm a little surprised we didn't see an elimination there. Oh, what a great escape. Wow, I cannot believe it, Michael. Here we go. Back inside the ring. Harsh impact. I don't even know what's going on in this corner anymore. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. And gets out of harm's way. Oh, boy, that could have been bad, Michael. Oof. Oh, he turns it around. Counter here. What a strike. Comes up big with the reversal. Vicious strike. He's looking a little weary here. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, Ooh. guys. I'm shocked he's even still in there, guys. Given the punishment he's taken, I figured somebody would have eliminated him by now. This is where we find out who the better man is. Fucking yeah. reindeer, I swear. Either one of these guys. That's how close this thing is. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. I will destroy you. And I will turn you into reindeer jerky. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Not Why bad. is it that everybody has to get in the way of the eliminations? Why can't they just let people be eliminated, for fuck's sake? Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, and it's a reversal. Fuck you, Elf. You got that right, Michael. That had elimination. Oh, boy. He There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Talk about a great escape. No, he reverses it. And gets out of harm's way. Oh, boy. That could have been bad, Michael. An Elf, a cookie. And a quote magical green man. Beautiful technique. Oh boy, he is rolling. What a way for this match to go. Right to the back of the net. Things are looking dire for Akam. Thought the better change quick. This might be the beginning of the end for him. It's not going to take much to get him over the top rope at this point. Heck, a gentle breeze might even do the trick. I don't know. I don't think he truly a understood. Just there. there's the elimination. That was amazing. Just me and you, Elf. Cross the shoulders. Down, Samoan driver. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Now get the fuck out of my ring. He's making a statement. And then there was one. There's your Royal Rumble winner. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Here's your winner, magical Guys, Queen gals, and non-binary pals. The winner of the Christmas Rumble, the ultimate victor of season's beatings, the new Christmas champion is the Grinch. All right. Yeah, I could have won with Santa Finn, but I didn't. Because instead of just taking the drop kick, that fucking reindeer decided to duck and throw me over the ropes. Like a dick.
Anyway, considering the way that I don't like So, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to go and call it here. Apparently my connection's unstable, so that's fun. But yeah, thanks everybody for coming and hanging out for a bit. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. I know a couple of you did. Pardon me. Uh, as always, if you like what you saw, you can follow me if you want. Always tell your friends if you if you enjoyed the show. Uh, word of mouth is probably the best way for a small streamer to grow their channel. Uh, if you want to help support the stream, you can subscribe here. You can use Twitch Prime to get one free subscription every month. And if you subscribe... If it loads. There we go. You can get those adorable little emotes for your very own. Pardon me. Uh, also, if you want to help support the show, you could check out uh, my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Eerie Emily. Even if you pledge just a dollar a month, you'll get your name right off at the end of every live stream. So big thanks to Aaron Thompson, Hugh Tanner, Jenna Bradford, and new patron tonight, King Alpha. Certainly appreciate all y'all. Uh, if you want to do just one-time donations, I've got a, a stream elements tip jar under the video there. You can check that out. Or uh, my coffee page. It's ko-fi.com forward slash Eerie Emily. Uh, I've also got a Teespring store. Got some cool stuff over there you might like. Uh, i got four designs. You can get, like, shirts, tank tops, hoodies, sweatshirts, uh, tote bags, phone cases, throw pillows, at least one mug, a couple of stickers... So yeah, that's me, uh, that's me done whoring myself out. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody, for, uh, coming and hanging out for a while. Like I said, hope you enjoyed yourselves. And, uh, with all that said, uh, in case I don't see you again, I hope y'all have a wonderful New Year, or at least a wonderful New Year's Eve. Because honestly, Happy New Year kind of sends the expectations that you want, that you expect the entirety of the year to be to be a good one which isn't always possible we do our best though and that's all we can do uh yeah so thanks again everybody and uh from here i hope you have a wonderful evening and i'll see you all next time bye for now everyone and uh well there's still a couple hours left in my time zone merry christmas <laughs>